Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we have a, a circle object that begins rotation. First of all, start over again. All right. Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we have an object that starts at zero angular velocity, speeds up to a maximum of 16 radians per second in eight seconds, and then in the next two seconds goes back down to zero radians per second for a total time elapsed of 10 seconds. And ultimately, the question is, what is the total angular distance covered during the 10 seconds? So let's make a graph of that and try to solve it graphically again. We'll start an omega versus time graph. So we have omega versus time. And you can see that this is in two sections. The first section, the first part of it, goes from 0 to 16. And it does so in a period of 8 seconds. And it gets up to an angular velocity of 16 radians per second. And then it slows back down to zero in another two seconds. So by the time we reach 10 seconds, the velocity, the angular velocity goes back down to zero. Notice we now have two areas. We have area one and we have area two, representing two different triangles. And we know that the sum of the area we know that area is equal to the angular distance covered. So in this case, theta is equal to the sum of A1 plus A2 because we're looking for the total area. So we can say here that theta total is equal to A1 plus A2, and all we have to do is find the areas of those two triangles. So it's one half times the base of the first one, and the base of the first one would be eight seconds times the height of the first one, which would be 16 radians per second, plus the area of the second triangle, which is one half the base. In this case, the base here is from 8 to 10 is 2 seconds, and the height is also 16 seconds. And that would be the total angular distance traveled. This is equal to 4 times 16, which is 64, plus 16, which is equal to 80, and the units would be radians. So theta total, in this case, is 80 radians. And again, a nice example how a problem like this can be very easily solved using the graphical technique. And that's how it's done.